for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure to head on over to my sponsor, buymadencoins.com. They got quick delivery, 24-7 support, and make sure to use code POOL at checkout for 20% off and an extra 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden video, and today I'm going to be ranking the best draft players to be taken from the solos, the house rules, and then the new set of solos that just came out, or if you do any of the sets. There's about, I believe, 12 of them total, and they're all very differently skilled and differently valued if you look at them from a certain way. So I'm going to be going over what I think are the best ones. But before we get into this video, make sure to drop a like, as per usual. Comment down below 20K. I'll set the like goal lower this time, 100 likes, and I'll give a random comment to 20K, as per usual. And make sure to sub. We're about 35 subs away from hitting 2K subs, so that's awesome. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Let me not drag this because I feel like it's going to be a little bit of a longer video, so I'm going to get into it real fast. So if we go into the path of the draft, head over to Brute Smith first round master. So we got Roquan Smith, DeAndre Hopkins, Adrian Peterson. The next one, we got Joey Bosa, Jimmy Smith, Quentin Nelson. And then we got Richard Sherman, Delaney Walker, John Sullivan. And then last but not least, the new ones, Grady Jarrett, Rick Wagner, and Rashad Jones. So now the way I'm going to value these, there's multiple ways, but I'm going to probably... I'll explain to you this in a second. So... It's complicated because a lot of it's by positional value. So I'm probably going to draft these by positional value instead of drafting them by who I like the most. Because who I like the most, personally, if we go by name, I'd probably like this Roquan or DeAndre Hopkins or this AP because they're the most fun, cool ones probably. But by positional value, I'd have to rank one of the best ones as Joey Bosa and then Quentin Nelson. Because these guys... Left end, ends are very, very useful this year. And it's not like there's a lot of free left ends unless you have like the Khalil and stuff. But those aren't free. They've just been out for a while. So I think first overall, I'm going to have to give it to Joey Bosa. Because Joey Bosa is a very useful position at a position that's not exactly a lot of free cards available for it. And then if we go through his stats, the stats match up too. It's actually a pretty decent price for him right there. 84 speed, 90 excel, 90 strength, 90 tackle, 97 play rec, 89 block shed, 97 power move. And then a 90 finesse move. Those are awesome stats. If you put sprinter, you power this guy up. High 80 speed. Maxed out pass rushing. He's an awesome card for free. Now, second overall, I'm going to go with Quentin Nelson. He's probably the best. Uh, oh, did it again. The best left guard in the game. He's probably the best left guard in the game. 250k. Obviously, he'd be free, so the price doesn't matter. But he's got a 98 strength, so powered up. This guy's going to have a maxed out strength. And then with Cam, he's going to have an almost maxed out pass blocking. And he'll have max, maxed out pass uh, run blocking. So this card's literally end game, best left guard in the game. And his lead block's always my favorite part about him when you go down. His lead block is a... Let's see. I believe it's like a 99 powered up. It's always so far down. Yeah, it'll be a 99 when you power him up. This guy's amazing. He's the pulling god. I would 100% take this guy. He might be in contention for number one over Joey Bosa. And then second, I'm going to have to go with Rick Wagner, which is not there. No, no. Actually, I'm going to go Sullivan because Sullivan's a center, which I believe is a little more a little more scarce. So I'll be going John Sullivan. Again, another guy when chemmed up and powered up, he will have almost maxed out everything. I don't know what his lead block is. Not that it matters that much depending on the plays you run, but... I'm pretty I'm just gonna tell you guys anyways just just to say I can but he's got a 99 lead block which is still amazing still amazing depends on the run scheme obviously you can never really value a lead block per team it has to be like per player and how you run your team because like if you don't use if you don't do pulling plays not really it doesn't really matter so now second I'm gonna have to go with this Rick Wagner I mean, I'm going with the line first because the line's very important and you don't get a lot of free linemen a lot of these other positions you probably have filled. Lyman, I, I'd like to go with the boring ones first because the boring ones are the ones that you're going to be most useful because you're not going to want to buy them ever. So I'm going to go Rick Wagner next. His stats are pretty good. I'm going to compare him to my current right tackle, which I think is Lane Johnson still. Wow, I still have that guy. He's got a 94 strength, 99 awareness, 98 pass block, 99 pass block power, 97 pass block footwork, and then 96 run blocking power or just run blocking in general, and then 96 run blocking power, 92 run blocking footwork. So this guy, again, let's look at his speed real quick because that's sometimes that's, that's kind of relevant, especially when you compare him to Lane Johnson. He's, he's, he's on the faster side for a right tackle. I'd personally just take him because he's a right tackle. So he's coming in at the next spot. And I've kind of lost count, actually. Let me just go back to make sure we have this all right. So Joey Bosa is one. Quinn Nelson's two. John Sullivan's three. Rook Wagner's four. Now coming in at five, uh, five, I have to give it to Roquan Smith, even though a little middle linebacker, he's definitely better than the other guys. 
he might actually be the most talented guy on this in this whole list. The only issue with him is that there's Ray Lewis, Ryan Shazier, and a bunch of other guys that people have already like acquired this year. But Roquan Smith is an absolute beast. 92 speed, 94 excel, 83 strength, 98 tackle, 92 play rec, 90 block shed, 97 hit power, and 91 zone. Powered up with Sprinter and Chemmed out, this guy will be able to destroy people with, with a hit stick. He'll be able to man the middle with zone, and he'll be fast enough to literally cover almost any route, even man up on guys. This guy's like a cornerback, literally a cornerback at linebacker. Let's see if he has any man, which I doubt it, but sometimes you never know. You never know what EA would stats to give people. If he had man, and he has man. He has a decent man. Chemmed up, he'll probably have like an 88, and if you do the John Madden maxed out uh, coverage, you'll have a 90. So you could literally have this guy and a 90 man 90 zone this card's definitely in contention for a top if it was just by talent alone this card would have first but i have to give him fifth just by his position so now going to sixth there's a, i want to give it to richard sherman i know he's not always the fastest but richard sherman is definitely definitely always a top okay. he always just plays out of his he always plays above his stats because of his height and his jumping so powered up will have so he'll be 6'3", which doesn't have doesn't being affected by powered up, but he'll have a 99 jumping. It's like when you think that you have Richard Sherman beat, he will jump that route and he's tall enough to where he'll get the reach on it too. So I never really test Richard Sherman that much. And then if you power him up, he'll have a 93 and then you chem him up with John Madden and Sprint. He'll have like a 96, 97 speed. And then I don't want to mention theme teams, but if you put him on a theme team, he's 99. So on a, on a, on a Seahawks 49 a theme team, this card would be absolutely insane. So I would not sleep on this card at all. Definitely again. He would be a little higher if it wasn't for the speed because you have to do a lot to get his speed up there, but still definitely amazing. Now, coming in at number seven, mm, I kind of want to go DeAndre Hopkins. He's a fan favorite. He's still got amazing stats. And then when you power him up and put Sprint, you have like a 98 speed. So it'd be like, he's like Calvin. He's like baby Calvin, a little smaller. I wish he was, I wish he had slightly better, like maybe one better speed so you can max out on 99, but his route running, everything's going to be top. He's going to be a typical top receiver. Now, do I value receivers as much as I value those other positions? No, but the thing about him is that not a lot of people have Calvin and Randy Ball. So if you don't have them, a lot of people at lower level, like end teams could use a beast like this on the wide receiver position. Now, coming in at eight, I'm going to have to probably give it to Grady Jarrett. Grady Jarrett is a defensive tackle, a position that people don't really like to buy too much, and he's decently fast for defensive tackle, decently. Obviously, he's not that fast. But he's definitely a good run stuffer, can definitely fill the trenches, and I mean, you don't wanna buy a defensive tackle, so I'm going with a lot of positions where I would just take him just so he could fill a spot on my team. So he's got 76 speed, 87 excel, 94 strength, 95 tackle, 97 play rec, 99 block shed, 96 power move, and an 89 finesse move. So, personally, powered up, chemmed out, this car would be almost 99s across the board, minus finesse and speed, and obviously excel, but this car's a beast, probably be one of the best defensive tackles in the game for the rest of the year, now I believe we're at 9, right, hopefully I didn't miscount that, I'm gonna have to go with, was it here, mm, I, uh, I feel like I wanna go Jimmy Smith at 9, yeah I'm gonna go Jimmy Smith, so at 9 I'm gonna go with Jimmy Smith, so his coverage stats, once you power him up, or even just put a chems on him, will be maxed out, everything's maxed out, now, the only thing is his athleticism. So, the things I don't like about him are his speed, his jumping, and his ball carry move. So, let me, let me explain what I mean by that. So, speed, obviously, you power up, you came up, it'd be a 97. 99 would be a little better. But the speed's not even the biggest concern. The biggest concern is the jumping. I wish it was higher because a lot of cards have much better jumping already from early, older cards have better jumping because jumping is really important this year, in my opinion. I've seen what the difference between a 99 and like a 91 is. It's crazy with the things you can jump. So I wish the jumping was better. And the biggest thing to me on this card in comparison to a lot of other cards that I already have on my team will be these stats right here. He can't juke, no ball carrier vision, no stiff arm, no spin moves. Now, it might not seem like why would you count a cornerback? If you've used Deion Sanders and Champ Bailey, you know why this matters. When Champ Bailey and Deion Sanders get the ball back, when they when they pick up a pick, like you feel like you're running with a running back or wide receiver. Like you can actually like cut across, make juke, spin a guy out. With this card here, he's one of those cornerbacks that once you get the ball, you just have to run straight. Like, you can't any move and they, they lose momentum. A spin's going to be a slow-ass spin. So, like, I personally, that's the only reason I don't like Jimmy Smith. Everything else is awesome. So, now what are we at? Number 10? Uh, I love Adrian Peterson, but I'm going to have to go Rashad Jones here. Rashad Jones, I just wish, I hope I'm saying his name right, but I wish that his speed was a little, little, little bit better. 92 speed. I'm going to compare him to my Jamal Adams. Obviously, he's a beast. If you power this card up. He'll have maxed out zone with chems, obviously. Maxed out hit power. He'll have he'll pass the man coverage threshold. He'll max out pursuit, max out play rec, come close to maxing out tackle. If you have the right chems. 
This card's only knock on it would be his speed. Now, let me see what his jumping is. If his jumping's good, it makes up for it. I, I hope I hope jumping wasn't. Oh, uh, 95. So, okay. So, 90 is jumping will be close to max, too. So, honestly, this card's still pretty amazing. If the speed was slightly better. I mean, the speed's going to probably be like a 96, which isn't bad at all. But, like, for a safety at this point in the year, like my Jamal Adams from months ago already has 96. But still, this card, number 10. Now, I believe we should have two cards left. Hopefully, we didn't mess this up. I mean, I know we have AP left. And who am I missing besides AP? I messed up, didn't I? Oh, Delaney. Okay. So, I'm going to go with AP next. So, AP is going to be number 11 here. He's got 95 speed, 94 excel, 95 agility, 96 carrying, 68 catching, 92 elusiveness, 98 trucking, and 97 break tackle. Now, this card's a beast. AP has always been a beast every year of Madden, his whole career. So, with chems and powered up, he'll have maxed out 99 speed, almost maxed out excel, close to maxed out agil, close to maxed out carry, maxed out trucking, maxed out break tackle, high elusiveness, and even a 70-something catch, probably depending on what you have on him. Now, this card, what's his strength looking like? 84, which I was a little higher. Good awareness, good carrying, good jumping, good trucking. Obviously, we saw that already. Spin move could be a little higher, but you could get that to the threshold. 99, 99 stiff arm, 99 juke when you power him up. This card's crazy, but the only thing is that there's other running backs and there's other better running backs too. Like compare him to the Saquon. This Saquon stacks up and it's just a 99, it's just a 98 free rookie premiere. So like that alone stacks up. Obviously, you could obviously you can get sprint down the other one. That's the benefit of it. This Barry Sanders looks better in my opinion. I mean, obviously, if you cam up Adrian Peterson, it's not anymore, but I'm saying like this comparable. My rookie Williams isn't even maxed yet. He's comparable. Wait till I, which I get his I get his uh, chems on him and stuff. And his new collectibles. Now, coming in at the last spot is Delaney Walker. Sorry, Delaney Walker. Didn't mean to show no love, but he just looks like a worse Gronk to me. And I went to the wrong one. He looks like a worse Gronk, in my opinion. Like, if you look at him closely, what can he do? He's on the slow side. He can run block, he can catch, and he can route run. And he has decent strength, and he has probably his decent truck. This is baby Gronk, except Gronk is taller, Gronk is faster. Gronk can catch better, and Gronk, I think, can run block better. And Gronk is better speed. Like, in my opinion, I would take Gronk any day of the week, and that Gronk was free. Like, that 99 Gronk was free. So, I have to, and Delaney Walker is not at, like, he doesn't have the stats. Like, people would rather have a kid. Like, if you're a tight end, you're either going to be really, really fast, or you're going to be a catching god, run blocking god, and you're going to be tall as hell. He's small. He's not a god at catching. He's good, but he's not a god at catching. I'll take Gronk any day of the week. Delaney Walker comes in at last in this list. So, I hope this guy, I hope this helped you out, guys. I really hope that you guys can make a good decision based off this. Hope you stay through to the end. If you have, make sure to go drop the sub. Make sure to like, comment 20K. Hopefully we hit 2K by tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video.